<laughs> Andrew Abrams, 109. Shout out to Andrew. He says, hello, guys. The question I have is what our ceiling is specifically in the playoffs when we are fully healthy and if we can make a deep playoff run if and when we get our main guys back. What is the ceiling for this team? I would put it this way. You get into the postseason, the only team you're a significant underdog to in the Eastern Conference in a seven-game playoff series is the Celtics. I think you're a slight underdog in a series to the Bucks, mm. just because of Giannis and Dame. I think the Knicks would be favored against any other team in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Cavs included? You think, you think they're, they're over Cavs? Look, I know the Cavs don't lose basketball games anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, barely. They've been great. Yeah. I just can't forget last year, man. Like, I, 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 I can't forget last year, and I think the Knicks just match up really well against them. I think the Knicks would dominate on the glass again. I don't think they have anyone that can really guard Brunson, uh, per, you know, particularly well, to be yeah. honest with you. So, yeah, uh, I would think the Knicks, would, at least in my head, maybe Vegas would say otherwise. In my head, I would have the Knicks as favorites over the Cavs in the playoff series. I, I would as well. Uh, I would as well. I, I don't think, as you said, I, I don't think the Cavs have anything defensively that can really hurt the Knicks. Now, would it be as you know, open as it was last year in a gentleman's sweep? Maybe not, because I think this Cavs team is definitely deeper. Spider Mitchell's yep. you know, obviously playing at, at a high level. They haven't really had a chance, just like the Knicks, they haven't really had a chance to really gel together at full strength. And so maybe that's what they're going to use the second half for, and we'll, and we'll see where, where both teams end up. Milwaukee... I don't know, man. I have so much concerns about that team. Every time I watch it, I'm like, I just don't see it. I just don't see how this team is going to come together. Now, the Knicks beat them once, and they've beaten the Knicks three out of four so far. They have one more against this Milwaukee team, but same thing. Dame and Malik Beasley backcourt, you're never going to turn them into, into a stout defense <laughs> at the point of attack. Like That's just not going to happen. They're yeah. older. They, they, they just got older again with Danilo. They're injury prone. Middleton is their biggest wild card, and you don't know if he's going to be healthy. His defense is also suspect. I don't think they have depth either. So I think they can be knocked off, man. Even, Look, I agree, yeah. and that's why I said slight. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. if, if we're sitting here and, you know, middle of the end of April and the Knicks are heading into the second round and you get the Bucks in the second round of the playoffs, you know, I, I wouldn't – expect them to win the series, but I would say yeah. they have a really good chance to win the series if they play well. I don't think there's much separating those two teams with both teams at full strength. I yeah. think the only team, again, that they'd be separate, have separation from is Boston just Boston. because their starting lineup is, is, is it's so ridiculous. good it's ridiculous. and so well put together. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, you know, with the with the, um, with the the Bucks, like, I'll give them the superstar edge, and I think that is the thing that can carry them is just Giannis and Dame just going ballistic on teams, which they're very much capable of doing. But I, I just don't see uh, I just don't see a cohesive unit there with the team. Now, you have a lot of time. Things can change between now and April. But I, I think we're looking at the same team that got knocked out in the first round last year by the Miami Heat. Boston is the team that I'm just not so sure because they have the best defensive backcourt. The Porzingis matchup always gives the Knicks problems when you know when he's running in those pick and pop situations. He, they become much harder to defend. Um, their ability to hoist up threes when, when they're hot, they're hot, and they just have so many different ways that they can beat you, man. They have so many different ways they can beat you. I think they will be tough, especially if uh, if Tatum and Brown uh, come to play in, in that series. I'm with you. Agree, hundred percent. All right, so let's get to the next one. Hey, buddy, but here's one thing. Are you I, – I, I don't I – don't, this, this is the same thing where, where I was with the Giants every year. I don't like overconfidence in the team, whether it's from inside or whether it's from outside in terms of what other analysts and things say. Like, I feel like there's, there's too much overconfidence in this team. And as a Giants fan, like, we've seen it every, every time the Giants get hyped, they never have a good year. They never do. The two Super Bowl years, they came in as a wild card and made a run. You never expected them to get there. But every time they go into camp with high expectations, they never make it. Well, CP, in fairness, the Knicks haven't had high expectations in 20 years, and they haven't done anything either. So maybe, we, so, maybe, so maybe we need to switch. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Maybe we need to switch the vibes and see if it works out. Yeah. 
no, no question, man. Uh, but, you know, like after each game and fans calling, like, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. We'll, when healthy, we'll get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm just like, they got a whoa, lot whoa, whoa, whoa. of yeah. a lot of things to, to solve before they get to if that If they're point. healthy, I, I would say chance to get to the – here's a good question. What percent chance, if fully healthy, would you give them to get to the Eastern Conference Finals? I would probably put it 40%. 35% to get to the Eastern Conference Finals, yeah. you yeah. think? I would have to say that. Would, would, would have to say that. Because we, we have no, there's no other bar. There's no other precedence. They didn't make it last year. Yeah, I mean, remember, yeah. even say 50 50, I mean, you got to win the first round yeah. series, which, yeah. you know, maybe you get Miami in the first round. You think that's an easy series? Correct. No, 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 not with Eric Spolcher and those Correct. guys down there. Correct. And then you could theoretically get the Celtics in the second round, or even if it's, even if it's Milwaukee, right? Dude, you could play a great game, and Dame yeah. Lillard just decides he's hitting a bunch of 28-foot three-point shots in the final two minutes of the game. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. And there's nothing you can do about that. Like, right. you just can't. He's Dame Lillard. He's, right. he's, he's a freak show. So, yeah, I would say if fully healthy, 35 to 40% chance against the Eastern Conference Finals. And by the way, given where the Knicks have been, I'll take it. 